Well, we've been mainly dry out there today, but the rain is going to return as we head into tomorrow. And then we'll see a few breaks through the day, Wednesday into Thursday. But really, the rain is going to keep going kind of off and on through Thursday morning. Rainfall totals, when it's all said and done, going to be fairly impressive, especially in the hills and coastal mountains. Three to five inches of rain in those locations. The valleys, a little bit less. Generally, one inch to two inches, but we could see a little bit less in some spots. Winds are also going to pick up, especially tomorrow up to 40 mile an hour wind gusts into the coastline and the coastal hills. And this is probably going to take down quite a few trees because even though the winds aren't advisory criteria, they aren't up to 55 miles an hour or higher. We are going to be seeing those again weak trees from the drought. So here's a look at satellite and radar picture. You can see a few isolated showers over the Bay Area right now, but the core of the storm is still offshore. Here's the core and here's the tail end of it. Now notice that the storm is actually further south than we would normally see them tapping into some tropical moisture. That's going to help us see those kind of heavier than normal rainfall rates. Here is a look at future cast for this evening. It's pinpointing a few showers through the North Bay, but mainly dry. You see that here heading into the midnight hour. It's not till about four o'clock in the morning. The rain's going to kick off again. Now through your morning commute, we are going to see fairly widespread rain, so you are going to need the windshield wipers. Give yourself a little extra time out the door tomorrow morning. It's going to be a slick commute. And then as we head through the later morning hours, a little bit of a lull south of the Golden Gate. But watch this into the afternoon. Look at all these areas of yellow, even orange on your screen over the coastal waters around the North Bay. We're going to see some spotty thunderstorms out there tomorrow. So some real heavy rain rates into the three o'clock hour through the North Bay. We'll also see a few down through the South Bay as we make our way through the evening. We're looking at fairly dry conditions, a few lingering showers, but we'll have again a little bit of a lull in the rain before the next round kicks off into Wednesday morning. A few showers by one o'clock in the morning, but then as we head through the morning commute, that's when the rain becomes widespread once again. So as we take a look at those rainfall totals again, down through Thursday, up to five inches of rain in the North Bay. But again, that's going to be for the hills and mountains. Same thing for the Santa Cruz Mountains, up to five inches of rain there, up to two inches of rain for the most part through all of our valleys, a little bit less in portions of the South Bay. As for the Sierra, we're largely going to see rain. Take a look at lake level temperature staying in the 40s through this week. Snow at 7,000 feet tomorrow, and that's pretty much where the snow level is going to stay. But the snow is going to be heavy at that level, so we do have a winter storm warning in effect. It expires Thursday morning to give you an idea of how long that snow is going to last. Also, a flash flood watch in effect for some of the lower lying elevations because we are expecting some heavier rain again as we head into tomorrow. Here's a look at your extended forecast. So we have rain kind of off and on the next several days. Slight chance of rain on Friday, but for the most part, we should be dry by Friday and dry into the weekend.